Father, Holy Yah, Bashim Yamsha, Bashim, the time of us. Something to the effect that uh, your house is going to sacrifice animals in the kingdom. But, you know, but you are uh, younger brothers out there, you know, just, just waking up and choosing it. It's well for the rest of us, man. You have to be aware that this is a very serious matter. This is something that shouldn't be taken lightly, you know. Uh, the scripture tells us that, uh, you know, we, we're going to just get it, man. Because, that's, you know, that's very disturbing, you know what I'm saying, when you blaspheme the Holy Spirit. That's a very disturbing matter. Because your house, I said, we're going to just go ahead and get it. Good to get it, man, because that right there was, you know, I seen that video, that, that, that was very disturbing. You know what I'm saying? That's a very, very, very dis uh, disturbing uh, topic, man. You know, uh, this is uh, Mark chapter 3. And, and we're going to start at 20, 28. And it reads, Verily I say unto you, All sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, which are Israelites, and blasphemy, blasphemies wherewith soever they, they shall blaspheme. And this is the point of verse 28. And it said, But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Spirit had never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. And, 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 you know, it's a very serious matter, man. You know, blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. You know, it, you know, if you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, you know what I'm saying? The scripture said that, uh, uh he said that there's no forgiveness for that, man. You know, it, you know, the, 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 the spirit, the Holy Spirit is, is yes, uh, uh you know is 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 a very serious matter, man. You know, and and the guy basically said that uh, you know, what I'm saying that your house shall, you know, he's it, it, gonna be sacrificing animals in the kingdom. But we all know that that you know your house shall die for Israel, man. And when he died, they did away with the with the. The sacrifice of the animal, because the animal sacrifices weren't enough to get to get rid of the sins of Israel, but they only cover the Israelites for a certain amount of time. But yeah, you know, knowing our people, you know, what I'm saying they were constantly going off. You know, what I'm saying they were constantly being they, they, they were constantly being wicked, time. and so all the sacrifices. 
the animal sacrifice, it didn't help because it got to the point that he howled by Shimei on shot. He got tired of our people doing animal sacrifices. He got weary of it because he, he know that the he know that the animal sacrifices didn't work. You know what I'm saying? But we all know that the animal sacrifices was a uh, you know it 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 was a uh, sign that was pointing to your house shot. That your house shot was going to be the uh, you know what I'm saying it was going to be a sacrificial lamb for the Israelites. But but you know going get back on top of it. You know, this guy basically say that, uh, that, uh, you know, you, you know what I'm saying, that your house shot is going to be sacrificing animals in the kingdom. And just listening to that, that bit of that video, you know what I'm saying, it, you know, the guy was just constantly contradicting himself, man. Huh? You know? You, you know, he's saying that Yahweh Shah's sacrifice was the supreme sacrifice, but then turn around and 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 and, uh, and then turn around and said, uh, uh, yeah, he turned around and then said that you know Yahweh Shah he's he gonna sacrifice animals in the kingdom, basically trying to basically saying that uh. uh that you know, in the nutshell, that y'all shot sacrifice didn't mean anything, man. You know, I'm trying to find scripture because guess yeah, what? It it is a very dangerous thing, you know, because the scripture also say, you know, if I can get it, I find it. It said that you know, you blaspheme against the holy holy. Holy Spirit, you know what I'm saying? Is you know what I'm saying? Is is uh, you know what I'm saying? Is no forgiveness for that. And, and, and here it is. It's Matthew chapter twelve. It, and this is um, and 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 this is we're gonna start at verse thirty one, and it reads, "Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blaspheme against the Holy Spirit." Shall not be forgiven unto men, and whatsoever and whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, which is Yahusha, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world. And, and listen to this: neither in the world to come. And when you, you know, what I'm saying when you blaspheme it against the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? The script, your house house said that it, it, it's not it's no forgiveness for that. It's not a, in this life, not a it, not in this life, not a, in the next life. And that's a very dangerous place to be in, man. You know what I'm saying? It's no forgiveness for that. You know, let's read verse 32 again. It reads, and what's and whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But who shall speak against the Holy Spirit? It shall not, listen to it, it shall not be forgiven him. Not in this world, not in this life, and not in the world of come, which is the kingdom of heaven. There's no forgiveness for blaspheming against the Holy Spirit, man. You know, that's a very, very dangerous place to be at, man. Because you how shy. Yahweh Shimei Hashem takes the Holy Spirit very, very, very seriously, man. You know, you know that that's a very dangerous place to be at, to blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. You know, it, it, it said that you you will not be forgiven, neither in this life, neither in this world, you know, in this life, and not in the life to come. You know, not not in the world to come, which is the kingdom of heaven. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why David said in Psalm chapter 51, verse 11. You know, let's, let's just get it, man. Because having the Holy Spirit is very important. You know, it's very important because without the Holy Spirit, we can't do nothing without the Holy Spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't teach without the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, this is... 
you know, you can teach, boy, you, I'm talking about teaching correctly. You can't, you know, have the proper breakdowns and understanding without the Holy Spirit, man. This Psalms 51 to 10, this is what David said, man. It's, you know, it said, create a, well, I'll start with 10, create me a clean heart, old power, old Yahweh, old power, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. And David prayed to Yahweh by Shimei al He said, don't cast me away from your presence. He said, take not your Holy Spirit from me. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's very important to have the Holy Spirit. Of Yahweh by Shimei al You know, because without his Spirit, you know, you have no protection. You know, you have no protection against what, what's to come, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to have spirit, y'all, by shit mouth shot. And without a spirit, you can't, you, you cannot correctly break down the word of the most high, man. You know what I'm saying? You cannot correctly feed the sheep. You know what I'm saying? It's important to have the Holy Spirit, man. And, and it's, it's very important not to grieve the Holy Spirit. And, and this guy, he, he, he grieved the Holy Spirit by saying, that he said that your house shall sacrifice was important, but then turn around and say your house shall still gonna be sacrificing animals in the kingdom. And I'm like, what? You know, this this blasphemy, man. You know, this this blasphemy to to basically say that your house shall sacrifice didn't mean anything, man. He he sacrificed himself for for the children of Israel, and you turn around and you spend on on your house shall sacrifice. And basically saying that it didn't mean nothing. That Yahusha in his own kingdom, that he's going to be ruling over, he's still going to be sacrificing animals? No, man. Yahusha was the once, the one, the one all and be all sacrifice, man. Because like I said before, you know, Yahweh got weary of the sacrifice of Israel because Israel was really going off, man. You know, they, they will sacrifice unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, but then turn around and did the same thing, man. And Yahweh got weary of, of, of the sacrifices of the children of Israel. And and, and the sacrifice, it, it, it didn't suffice the Most High, man. It, it did not suffice Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So what had to happen? Yahweh Shah came down. And, and, and being the perfect uh, sacrificial lamb that he is, he, he sacrificed himself for Israel. So that way, that way, that, that sacrifice, Yahweh Shah sacrifice, it was pleasing to Yahweh, man, because Yahweh Shah, you know what I'm saying? He didn't sin. He, he didn't have no fault. You know, he was, he's, he was a perfect sacrifice, you know, for Israel, man, because you know, without without uh without that perfect without a sacrifice, there won't be no remission for sins, man. You know what I'm saying? Because because guess what? Your house I had to come down and redeem Israel. You know, that's another reason why he sacrificed. He was a perfect sacrifice. He came down to redeem the house of Israel, man. You know, he came down to redeem us, man. And without his sacrifice, there would have been no redemption redemption for sin, man. Even not even all the animal sacrifices didn't didn't suffice, you know, for our sin count, man. And, and you know, for you to say basically in a nutshell that your house shall sacrifice, you know, it 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 didn't mean anything. That what you base that's basically what this guy said, man. He said he basically saying that your house shall sacrifice didn't mean anything because in, in, in the kingdom of heaven, he's gonna be sacrificing animals. Uh, no, and uh, and it was the guy who was on the comment board made a good point. He said, if "We're gonna be in perfect. If we're gonna be in in, in the mortal body, if we're gonna be perfect. Then 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 what's the point? Why why will y'all shall still have to sacrifice animals? You know, I'm roughly paraphrase because because we're gonna be in perfect bodies, man." And there ain't gonna be no need for sacrifice, uh, sacrificial animals, man. There ain't gonna be no need for that because Yahweh shall the end all be all, man. 
he sacrificed his life for Israel. It, it won't be, you know, there's no need to sacrifice any more animals, man. And, and for and for a person to, to say that they, their animals are still going to be sacrificed in the kingdom of heaven, man, that's blasphemy, man. Because we're going to be living in perfect bodies, man. And, and the scripture tells us that, that the loss of Yahweh by Hashem Al-Shah is going to be written in our inward parts. We ain't going to be sinning. We ain't going to be going off, man. You know, we're not going to be doing that. We're not going to be sinning. And we're not going to be going off, man. So it ain't going to be no need for no, uh, um, you know, no, no need to sacrifice animals for atonement of sins, man. Because we gonna, the laws in the kingdom of heaven is going to be in our inward parts. And you're not going to be able to go off even if you wanted to. Because y'all by Shem is going to put the laws in our inward parts, man. You know, and we're going we're gonna to be able to walk in, in, in complete unity with the Most High, man. With y'all by Shem I'm talking about the Israelite. We're gonna be walking in great unity with the Most High. You know what I'm saying? We, we're gonna be in order. We're gonna be in 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 a in a position in a position that Yahweh Yahweh Al Shai gonna have us in, man. We we ain't gonna have to sacrifice any animals for sins, man, because Yahweh is the is the end all be all of of of, of uh, the sacrifice, man. You know, he did away with the animal sacrifice. He, he became the head. He, he, he became the head, man. You know, he, he did away with the animal sacrifice. We no longer had to go out and come to sacrifice animals. Because y'all shot did away with that, man. And, and you have people coming on the on the coming pool bugging out talking about explaining this scripture explaining this scripture explaining this scripture explaining this scripture you know in in y'all in y'all uh shot shot basically saying that it go, it gonna come in last day scoffers man and yeah people you had people coming on coming pool with scoffing at the guy for bringing out the scriptures you know he was bringing out the scriptures man and they wanted, and, and, and it was one guy basically saying the hell with the points, you know, explaining the scriptures. I'm like, these people are just, just beyond wicked, man. Here it is, this guy blaspheming, you know, the Holy Spirit, man. Here it is, this guy saying that y'all shall sacrifice and mean anything, pretty much. He, and he said that, uh, 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 that your house child is gonna sacrifice animals in the kingdom. You still had people talking about, you know, what uh, you know, he he got to the point that they was he, he was a guy that was threatening to put uh his sister's uh address in the uh, on the on the live stream. It was just all types of disrespect on the on on the guy's page, man. You know what I'm saying? It was all type of disrespect. You know. It was all types of disrespect. And God was proving the point, man. You know, and he, he was proving the point. Uh, and, and we have to understand, man. You know, blaspheming the Holy Spirit is a very serious offense. And we just read that, that it, you know, there's no forgiveness for that, man. It, it, it was, it, he, how shall we first say it was not in this life, but not in the world to come, man. Not in this world, not in the world to come. So there's no forgiveness for blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, man. And that's the reason why we, every day, we have to examine ourselves, man. To see that we, see if we are in the faith. You know? We have to do a daily examination. We pray to y'all by the shimmer outside that he doesn't take his Holy Spirit from us, man. You know, and in the same way that it can it that bro, it happened to, you know, that person in Shakari Camp. Guess what? It can happen to any one of us, man. Yahweh by Shem Al Shah can allow the, the, the Holy Spirit to be taken from us, man. 
he can allow it to happen. So that's the reason why it's very important to examine yourself and pray y'all about Shem Al Shah that he does not take his his fear from you, man. You know what I'm saying? And that, you know what I'm saying? It is very important to understand that. And those who wake up the truth, uh, understand that you come, this is a very, very serious matter. And we are coming at a time, man. This is no time to be playing games, man. This is no time to be sent back playing games and, 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 and making fun of the prophets, man. Especially those who are out there on the highways, byways teaching. You know what I'm saying? This same ordeal could happen to you. You know, this is a very serious matter, man. And and it's a it's a hard press matter because guess what? You how about Shem Al Shaka allow allow this to happen to you? And and once you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, you know what I'm saying? There's no coming back from that. There there's no type of prayers or anything. To, that's gonna redeem you from that, and you gonna be in in and that's that's a uh, uh, lot lot that you to just be destroyed, man. You know, and that and that and that's it for the lesson, man. Just wanted to uh, get that off, off the you know off the chest. Um, you know what I'm saying? And you know this, we are living in some very hectic times, man. That's really why we got to stay prayed up, stay watching. You know, stay close to y'all by Shem Al Shah. Because, get what, it, you know, we got things that's coming down the pipe, man. And you, and, and you are, you, you are Israelite, man. You are the elect. Your faith is, is going to really be tested. That's the reason why it's very important to have the spirit of y'all by Shem Al Shah in these times, man. Because things are going to really get hectic. And you don't have the protection of, of your about Shem Al Shah, you, you just finished, man. And with that, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor due unto your how about Shem Al Shah, by Shem Kakadash, that will honor to the Apostle Elsa, Great Millstone. Shout out to